What is up all of you awesome and amazing people on YouTube? Kuda Malloy here coming at you with another exciting video. Trying to get some motivation going, you know. There's a lot of people that watch this channel. Maybe you're subscribed to the channel, which is a good reminder to hit the subscribe button down there below. Also hit the like button if you like what you're seeing. But there's some people out there that just, they want to know what it's like backpacking and hiking as a larger individual. And I got to say, there's a lot of stuff out there, good products that make life easier, <laughs> that make the whole experience worthwhile coming out here, doing the hikes, doing the, the adventures and all that good stuff. Sorry to switch hands, but it's there. The stuff is there. You just got to get up and enjoy it and get out there and try to take as much of a breath of air up here at what am I at 6,000 feet or so as you do down at sea level. I mean, it's so beautiful. It's just so ridiculously beautiful hiking through the trees like this. So yeah, I'm hiking on a fire road, making it easier. Like I said, at least it gives us larger people a chance to come out here and enjoy all this, right? But anything is possible. If you do a little bit of research, do your own due diligence, you can find ways and the things that you need to actually get out here and do what you got to do to go backpacking and hiking and camping and all that good stuff. The air is clean. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. I can't, I can't tell you enough good things about like the things that you see, like, look at this little, look at this little rain chute right there. Woo! <laughs> Imagine going down that thing <laughs> during the middle of a rainstorm. I highly don't recommend that. Do not recommend. No, no, no. <laughs> don't recommend doing that. But anyways, you get the idea. But you get to see a lot of cool stuff. There's birds chirping. There's sounds of nature. You get the idea. But what I'm trying to say is there's clothing out there for larger individuals. Backpacking stuff. There's hammocks. There's underquilts. There's tents. There's sleeping pads. I've gone through as many products as I could possibly go through in the last year of really dedicating my time to making this channel have more content. And there's so much stuff out there that makes it easier for larger sized people to get out here and actually enjoy nature just as much as anybody else. If you are so inclined, you can go down in the description section down there below. There's some links to some pretty cool products that I like using. Stuff that's tried and true, stuff that I've tested myself that will probably, maybe, potentially just give you a little nudge to try to motivate you a little more. Some people say, well, I, there, isn't a, there isn't a sleeping bag that's big enough that fits me. I call BS. I call bullshit. Because there is. You just have to look for it. Some of those links I've put down below, but if you do your research, you can find stuff like that. Amazon is a great place to buy stuff. You can find almost anything, the cheaper versions of the REI brands. Like, no offense to REI or anything, but your Patagonia stuff is a little, eh, you know, it's good quality, but kind of pricey. <laughs> so follow some links. Check out those links that are down below. You'll see what I'm talking about. Also, if you have any comments, let's say you're watching this video, you're a larger individual, and you're sitting there going like, hey, I need to find a this or that. Comment down below. Let me know what you're looking for. Maybe I can try to find something or I've already found something that's kind of similar. Comparison, is this better than that? You know, recently I did, I did a purchase for the Moon Lens chair. It was a 400 pound rated capacity. I mean, that chair is pretty strong. I got to do a, an official review of it, but definitely will accept more weight than say the Helinox chair. Construction is a little bit different. The moon lens is a little bit cheaper. And the name changes. You know, this this month, this week, this year, whatever. It's called moon lens. But probably in a little bit, the company name will change. I still think everything's made by one or two manufacturers. in wherever they're manufactured. And then they just label it, whatever they want to label it. But the good news is they make decent quality stuff. If not good or better quality stuff to counteract or sorry to counter to be the counterpart to some of the stuff that ultralight backpackers use let's say and it's a trade off it really is a trade off some people will say you know I'm paying a little bit extra 
for, or I'm, I'm buying a product that's a little more bulkier than say a lightweight. Oh, look at that one. That one's kind of nice too. Look at that little, that little, that little tunnel. But I'm paying, you know, some people will say, well, hey, I'm paying a little bit extra or I'm buying something that's bulkier than the ultralight backpacking stuff that's out there. But you know what? It'll hold you. <laughs> It'll hold you. Some of these things are weight rated for 800 pounds. Like I was having a nice long discussion with a few different people. REI. What's the other one? Sport Chalet. Going back and forth between Thermo Rest, Big Agnes. Like you name it. And some of these pads are rated for 600, 700, 800 pounds. They just don't tell you that in the description because they don't want four people jumping on one at the lake and then causing some kind of major major accident or something. Just kidding. Anyways, you get the idea. But you'd be surprised at how strong some of these things are. Hammocks. Okay, so you like, you're looking at hammock camping, right? You're a larger individual. The, what is it? War Bonnet Blackbird XL, XLT. That th I've been sleeping in that thing. I'm pretty big, pretty large. You know, so it's been holding me at least a few trips now. Never had any issues. Maybe one tip or trick I would do is to in, enforce the hammock, the straps themselves. You know, instead of getting the lightweight, just bring a little extra poundage. Oh, look at that thing. That's kind of cool. See, this is the kind of stuff that you see when you're out here. Let's get a good shot of that. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that you see when you come through this area. You know, and it's it's such a shame that there's so many people out there that are sitting there going, ah, I can't do it because I'm too heavy, I'm too big, I'm too large, I weigh too much, I haven't stretched in months. <laughs> whatever, their, whatever their excuse is, you know, there's a better excuse to get out here. And that's the reason to get it. This is the motivation I hope that most of you are paying attention to, to get out here, to see stuff like this. Because this is cool. It's pretty cool being out here in nature and doing this kind of stuff. Well, anyways... I could talk on and on about this, but ultimately it's got to come from with, within you. It's got to come from the inside. It's got to be something that you decide to do that you want to get out here in nature. Be safe. Be wise. You know, try everything you can to do as much research as you possibly can. Do your own due diligence. Try to get to know the area that you're going to, especially if you're just camping. Do something small like that first. Try a camping trip. Test out your gear. Go to a park that's near you, somewhere where you can just set everything up and test it all. Spend a few hours, a couple hours in it, or whatever the case may be. Make sure everything's working. Test it all, obviously. And then, you know, maybe take like a one-mile backpack trip into somewhere. Like here in Southern California, there are so many places that are just one mile out from the parking lot. That you can go into, you can trail camp, you can park your car in the parking lot, hang your forced adventure pass, go, you know, do a little one-mile hike in, and boom, you're backpacking. You've got a nice trail camp. You can set up your hammock, set up your tent, your air pad, your underquilt, your overquilt. You know, you get the idea. But the stuff's out there. The gear's out there. Don't let the gear hinder you. And don't let, don't let your weight hinder you. Just get out there. Have the motivation. You get the idea. Anyways, hit that like button if you like what you're seeing. Also, hit the subscribe button down there below if you want to subscribe to this channel and you like what you're seeing and you just want to be notified of it. Hit the notification bell. Also, if you go to the description section down there in the description, you will see some links to some pretty cool products that I have done reviews on that I use and test myself. And if there's anything down there that you don't see that you were curious about, let me know. Let me know in the comment section. Post up your comment. Let me know what you're thinking. And hopefully, maybe... I will do a video or at least try to write back to you as soon as I possibly can and come up with a, a solution. And if I can, I'll refer you to somebody who maybe might know better and steer you in the right direction. You get the idea. So anyways, Kudan Malloy out here on the trail, on the fire road, up above the Crystal Lake area. And I will catch you all on the next exciting adventure.